Warning, this video may contain graphic content, such as sexual scenes, violence, gore, boobies, and the rest of the fun stuff. Please be over 18 to view this, and don't say we didn't warn you little sinners. Endlessly searching for an original Hey guys, welcome to Sinfully Fun Games, where we look at the more mature side of gaming. You know, the things that make YouTube go eeeee. Okay, so enough of that silliness. We're looking at Siri Trainer. This is based off of the Witcher series, which I haven't actually played yet, but I do plan on doing eventually, because I know a lot of people have been requesting at least The Witcher 3. And I think I know why, so let's do this. Now, uh, this was sent to me by the dev, so it's going to be really awesome. Now, we've done another game of his called... Oh, what's it called? Big City. Girl in the Big City or something like that. With Wonder Woman and other characters. This game contains parody elements. How... Oh, okay. Howdy, you can skip intro if you want. It won't affect the story, but you won't see the part I play in it. So think twice. We won't be skipping the intro. Let's get started, then. I do. I actually was thinking of doing a full Let's Play when I get some time of his other game. Um, but I've got to actually finish the games I'm doing first. After so many days traveling through the treacherous ravines and wild forests, the old keep appeared before me. It is the least secured of Kjordwen borders. I'm going to butcher everything in here, so forgive me. I believe a lot of this is Polish, too. For a good reason, no villages nor taverns for miles, only mountains and occasional wild goat. Bah. I learned about this castle's existence from old maps, back to when witchers back to when witchers were more numerous and popular. It's been abandoned for a while, but it should still be a good place to rest and restock my supplies. Man, my feet are killing me. I'm too old for such travels. So I have no idea what I'm doing. I was not given let's see around I took I took a look around at the valley one more time abandoned buildings deep ravines and dense forests the time for its greatness is long gone oh there is a river nearby I can finally wash away the dust of the road even from here I can tell the castles and ruins I wonder if it's still warm enough to survive the winter hopefully I won't have to sleep on a cold ground again tonight they must have some beds inside and A, honey, A, A. I, okay, so I don't think English is this creator's first language, so again, we are not going to really, we're not going to make fun of this kind of thing as I always do. I'm just going to give some insight. It would be A huge opening, not Anne. Well, and I will not be a smart ass on this one. N huge. A huge opening in the gates. And huge... No, I think it would be a huge opening in the gates. I'm totally not a writer. Yes, I am. I never said I was good with grammar. That's why you hire editors. A huge opening in the gates. Inviting anyone to enter. It's not as if many people would dare explore these old ruins. Nasty creatures love settling their lairs in such a places. You just hear orchid in the background. Hey, man. At least knock if you're gonna enter my place. Please. Let's see. I'm gonna look around. I feel a slight distance tingling. A very far powerful magic was once used here, crushing the walls. Even stones still remember of it. Human mages are not sensitive enough to perceive it, but magical creatures are, and they keep away from these walls. Oh, well, let's go in. Oh, the door to the courtyard is locked. Not good. It's getting dark already. I don't have time to look for a key. Guess I'll just force myself in. Uh, there's another one I wanted to do, but I think it's like Voodoo Monkey. I want to do his game, too. I need to finish what I'm working on in the channel. Uh, okay, so it's not been changed, so let's try. Let's get started. Focusing on my forefinger, it begins to close to lose its color. Matter melts beneath my gaze, taking the shape of a metal pin. Sliding it into the lock, the metal pin transmutes into a perfectly subtle key. Suitable key. There we go. Door open. The door opens before me as my finger reverts to its original form. I enter the old castle. After some searching, I found a relative. I found. I found a relatively intact room. 
Why is there a genie in the background? Bitch, this is my place. And a bed. Finally, some good news. <laughs> it does kind of look like the one from Witch Trainer. Which I do want to address this again if you people really want me to do the Witch Trainer mods. Hit the next goal on Patreon. I'm too tired right now. I really need some rest. Okay, so you're not going to do any... There's a little speedy spider there. He's a little speedy spider. And he blinks. That's cute. I'll think about what to do next tomorrow. As for now, I only need to rest. <laughs> Dear Persona 5, let me fucking do more at night. The game. Oh god, we've gotten into another one. I woke up at first sight. Light. I feel much better already. I wonder if there's any food in here. Or some wine. There must be some supplies stored somewhere around such a big castle. Nice. I can cook something in here. Just need to find some food. Locked. And the lock is silver plated. I can't unlock it without a key. A few gold coins. They might be useful in the city, but here, nowhere. I can spend them. All right. Map inside. Interesting. There we go. It's a castle map. Let's see. There's a storage room on the ground floor. There should be some food in there. This place has been abandoned for how long? I'll check the storage room. Just as I've expected, the castle's abandoned. Dust and garbage everywhere. Luckily, they got plenty of dried meat and salt here. I should say this is a work in progress, as it said in the beginning, so this may have a different scene probably when it's finished. Who knows? Not the healthiest of diets, but I can take some of with me. I won't even need to hunt for the rest of the trip. I tried to bite off a piece of meat. Ah! It's hard as a rock. That won't do. I can't afford wasting more energy on regrow regrowing teeth. I need to cook it. I need some water to cook the meat. Hmm. Don't really want to go to the river. It's pretty far. Maybe there's a place closer than the castle? Let's see. Ah, there's a well in the courtyard. Just what I need. I'll bring some water. Two hours later. It took me some time to find an intact bucket, but at least I got everything I need now. Better start cooking. I'm starving. I don't cook very often, but boiling some meat shouldn't be too difficult, right? That was harder than I expected. I think I overboiled it. But I'm too hungry and too picky to be picky about it. Without enthusiasm, I ate the overcooked meat. Mostly tasteless strips of meat. That was terrible. And it's dark outside already. I've spent the whole day on chores. But now I know where to find food, so tomorrow should be more productive. Let's see. Contracts, housekeeping, personal notes, nothing of interest. There. Not really a night predator or something. I don't feel like strolling through the, an abandoned castle at night. Can I pet the spider? No. Spider cannot be our friend. Spider bro will not talk to us. Creator, why will talk? Why, why will Spider bro not talk to us? What a day! I'm almost as tired as yesterday. I need to take it easy tomorrow. I should probably search the room. There could be something useful. I mean, we could light those. Maybe I should take this gold with me. Seems like no one's living here anymore, and I could use some. Uh, take gold. Yep, probably a good idea. I shook out the remaining coins. Not much, but that'll do. But spider bro. Oh, there's a letter. Let's see. I've met my surprise child again. Uh, sorry, Vesemir. And she has nowhere to go. I have my hands full with contracts and tris boobs. What? Tris boobs? Okay. So I'm sending her to you for now. She wants to be a witcher, so feel free to train her. I'll send you some money later, should I manage to make any. Ger Geralt. A law of surprise, eh? I heard about it. It's an old human habit. A man who got rescued is expected to offer reward. Reward whose nature is unknown to, him, to either him, his savior, or both of them. I can't stop thinking of hilarious rewards. A front door, a burglar... A bill left by the ki by the creditor, tax collector. Then I realized something. The letter was recently written. I can still smell the ink. And it was opened? So someone was here. 
Hoof noises from the courtyard. Someone lives here indeed. And I'm sitting in their living room. Oh no. I don't need another fight. Not now. I must hide somewhere. Looks like a mouse. Looks like a nice little spot. But what about the fire? Oh, that's true. No, that won't do. I should turn into something fireproof to hide in there. But it won't go unnoticed. Although, I should put out the fire anyway. There you go. Great. Couldn't find a better place. Hearing heavy foot footsteps near the door, I quickly transformed into something halfway a mouse and a snake, and clumsily crawled inside the wall crack. Oh, look at the little eyes! The little eyes! The little eyes! That's so cute. Home sweet home! I don't like how the eastern wall tilted last winter. Guess some repairs are in order, as some as everyone is back for winter. As soon as everyone is back for winter. And I wonder who forgot to lock the gates. Again. That was the very first time I've seen the old witcher. One glance was enough to figure how old he is. Not even old. Ancient, more likely. Ancient and massive. I don't think I can generate enough mass to match his weight. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. Oh. He began reading and sorting out letters on his desk. Looks like I'm safe for now. Oh, fuck, I took the coin. Oh, I took the coin. Witchers are masters at hunting down magical creatures, but our powers leave no traces whatsoever. Hmm, this contract pays good money, and we could use money for repairs. Village is, it's not that f village, it's not that far. I should be back in a day, or two, or three. He left the room, but it took a few hours before I finally dared coming out of my hideout and regain my humanoid form again. There goes my plans to rest for a few days after crossing the border. I can't really stay here while that witcher is around, so... Yeah, I'm gonna ask why you can't just ask the witcher if you can stay there and maybe work to, you know, repair the place and stuff while you stay? Do witchers, like, hate all magical creatures? I'm Again, I've not played the witcher series. At all. I need to, I know. You may not kill me on the spot, but I doubt I'll be welcome this day either. I should really leave... Suddenly, I noticed a piece of paper clamped in my hand, hid myself together with the paper. Oh! He didn't notice the letter. So, when the child mentioned and the letter arrives, there'll be no one around to meet her. No matter how I look at it, it that's my fault. Damn. I'll have to stay and make sure she's alright, at least for a few days. Judging by the map, this castle used to be pretty impressive. I think I shouldn't touch any <laughs> It's true. You should be back in a few days. I can rest and take care of the child in the meantime. I need to come up with some story for the kid. Something sounding not too suspicious. And masking my true self would be a good start, too. I borrowed my current mask from one of the bandits who tried to rob me a few days ago near Kedwen Border. It was an excellent disguise to keep away beggars and farmers, but it's absolutely not suitable for interacting with a child. Guy never shaved in his life, not to mention his countless scars, memories of many raids. I closed my eyes and focused on the old witcher. I've seen him only once, but it's enough already. My whole body melted like a candle, swiftly shifting into a new form, a, perfectly, a perfect copy of the original, in the smallest of details. As I opened my eyes, I turned into him. Not even magic could spot the difference between us. A name arose in my mind. Ve Vesmir. <laughs> I cleared my throat, turning my new, tuning my new voice. Much better. If I play it right, no one will e ever realize I was even here. Sun is setting down. Time for dinner. As time passes, some memories of the original became available to us Dopplers. Always vague and blurry, they somehow help with keeping a masquerade up. By the way, I'm so glad I didn't do the other voice, because that would have been annoying. This room starts feeling familiar, as if I lived here for many years. Anyway, I should keep. Tr I should try to sleep. Hello, is anybody here? I woke up to the sound of a ringing voice. <sighs> Good morning already, I didn't sleep well. I'm coming in, okay? All right, time to get up. Hello? The voice sounded closer. By the time the footsteps finally reached my floor, the door was opened without knocking. I was ready. 
That exists. Is anybody in? Oh, hi. I'm Cyrilla. First female witcher in the world. Nice to meet ya. Ruff Hello, Cyrilla. I'm Vesemir. I'm Vesemir. Er, sorry. Ruff Hello, Cyrilla. I'm Vesemir. Keeper of this castle and oldest of the witchers. Vesemir memories grew stronger, suggesting the right answers. At least I hope they were they truly are right. Ve Vesemir, Gerald told me lots about you. You trained all witchers. I fumbled the freshly acquired memories. Indeed, my original used to be a fencing instructor many years ago. This is true. I've been told that you want to... Yes, I want to train as a witcher. Sure, but... And I want to learn everything from you. Holy shit, I'm afraid that should wait to, for you to be older. What? I'm old enough? Yes, much older. At least 18. Boo! That's four more years. I want to train now. Oh, there's there's much for you to learn in the meantime. How about we find a room for you? My own room? Cool. Gah, she's a lively type, isn't she? I probably shouldn't have promised a trainer. It's not for me to decide. Oh, well. What's done is done, I guess. Hey, where are you? I'm coming. I thought there was a decent room on another floor. It took a few hours to settle her in. Not much time, but it was enough to notice something. Her magical gift, still idling and unnoticeable to most, was about to bloom. I think she can become a talented mage, if properly taught. Uncle Vesmir, let's start my training. Uncle. Right, your training. To be honest, I had no idea how witchers train their recruits. I suppose it involves melee training, but isn't she too young for that? How about you clean your room first? It hasn't been used for a long time, so it's pretty dusty. What? No, I came here to become a witcher, not a maid. Wax on, wax off. Alright, she clearly needs a firm hand. I am your mentor, young lady. You should do as I say. Or I won't be training you. <laughs> Fine. Perhaps I should help her. I can't expect a child to clean such a big room by on her own. It took a few hours to tidy up her room and get rid of all the spiders. Poor spider bros. Uncle Vesmir, I'm tired. <laughs> Witchers are supposed to be strong and tough. You need to train yourself, young lady. As for now, should you ever lift a sword, you won't be making a single swing. I understand. I'll do my best to train and become a witcher. Right. You can go and rest in your room for now. I'll summon you if needed. Okay. I spent one day with this little brat and I already missed the mountain roads. Poor Vesmir. I don't envy him one bit. So not bad so far. I am enjoying the holy heck out of this game. Let's see. I think we're using the best rooms in the castle already. Remaining ones are hardly suitable for living. She's resting. I'd better not disturb her. I could use some rest too. Unfortunately, my sleep was abruptly interrupted. What is it, Gorilla? It's pretty late. You should be in your bed by now. Uncle Vesmir, could you tell me a bedtime story? Please? Oh, why the hell not? Mm, I'm not good at this, but I'll give it a shot. What do you want to hear? Carol mm, used to tell me stories about his adventures. But you are older than him. You must have more stories about monsters, magic, and treasures. I'm not sure my ori- Oh, sorry. I'm not sure my original has such stories to tell. Working with borrowed memories is never easy. Sure. Oh, I got a story to tell you. Yay! A long time ago, a very, and very far from here, there was a magical place where any mere wish came true. What? People never starved there. Food, because food appeared before them when they were hungry. They didn't need to, let's say, buy clothes, because new ones appeared as soon as they needed some. Wow. And if someone wanted a sword, then he got the sword. He had everything they want. They had everything they wanted and possibly more. Not only the place itself was magical, even people could transform themselves whenever they wanted to. 
Many of them used their ability to stay forever young. Others rejected human form and aimed at perfection. Perfection? But one day, a cataclysm happened. The so-called conjunction of the spheres. Ever heard about it? Mm, I think so. Well, other world hit ours? And monsters from those worlds fell down and remained here? Aha, uh -huh, yes, pretty much. After the conjunction, conjunction, people from that war that wonderful world found themselves here, infinitely distant from their home world. Unable to manipulate reality anymore, many of them couldn't survive the new world. As for the others, the only way to survive was to adapt. They still could change their appearance, and so they did. They joined animal societies, such as wolf packs. Then, when humans and elves spawned all over the continent, some of them joined either one or the other race. Some wanted to remain wolves? Mm, they simply lost their humanity over time. A beast's mind is simple. It doesn't need detailed memories or advanced skills. As for those who manage to discard their beast forms, witchers call them dopplers. Oh, so this is my very first lesson about monsters. Indeed, silver is their one weakness. It adverts them to their true form. I see. So I just need to stab them with my silvery sword. My silver sword. Now, now, dopplers are usually peaceful and harmless, tending to avoid any conflict. Oh. But there is another group. Those who manage to survive without turning into animals. But conjuncture happened a long time ago. It's conjunction. <laughs> it's conjunction. Yes, they don't get older like humans do. Of course, most of them didn't make it. But those who did, they managed to keep their memories, intelligence, and transformation skills intact. Witchers don't have a name for them, because not a single one has ever, captured, has ever been captured by a human. Really? Why? For many reasons. For instance, silver is far less effective against them. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm, so if they were never captured, how do you know all of this? Oh, I have a friend among them. Really? What's his name? His name? We gotta do it! Return of the Sexy Anon. And I'm starting to wait until there's fan art of him. Yes. His name is Anon. And well, it's pretty late already. You should really go to bed. Okay, I will. Thank you, under Uncle Vesmir. I could use some sleep, too. Uncle Vesmir! Oh, he's sleeping already. Huh? What's that in his bag? A medallion? Oh. I think he wouldn't mind if I borrow it. You little shit. I need to leave tonight no matter what. Staying here any longer is too risky. Uncle Vesmir! Oh, oh boy, what now? Look what I crafted! It's two dolls? This one resembles you, I think. And the other one is you, silly. I'll put them here, okay? Oh, why does it... Oh, it's cute. She puts the two dolls on the desk. It's a gift! Oh, uh, thanks. Anyway, before I forget, I need to explain what's going on in here to the real best mirror. I'll write another letter, let's see. Hello, Vesmir! I'm tired of this brat. I met the... <laughs> what happens if I... I gotta go back and see what happens if I pick the other one. I have met the surprise child again. I have my hands full of contracts, so I'm sending her your way for now. Focus on alchemy, focus on melee, focus on magic. She wants to be a witcher, witcheress. So we probably should start training her. It's been a while since we had a new blood. She seems interested in magic, so try to teach her at least basic things about it. And the last part? Good enough, I guess? And it's good enough. Let's see. Hmm, those dolls look funny, especially hers. <laughs> Shouldn't we take them? Siri, Siri, come in here for a moment. Okay. What's up, Uncle? Hi, wait. What is that on your neck? It's my witchress medallion. I made it myself. But the symbol is of this. But the symbol of this school is a wolf. Boo! 
wolves are scary. I like my kitty. <laughs> I heard the cat school accepts women, but maybe it's just a rumor. I like pussy cats. Pussies rule. Weird. I don't sense her magical gift anymore. Am I seeing things? Okay, then. One more thing. I'm leaving tonight. I've got an urgent contract to fulfill. Wait, what? Will I be left alone in here? Don't worry. I'll be back tomorrow. You'll be safe in the castle. Just don't leave it. Oh, okay. Better yet, go to your room and lock the door until I call you. Deal? Deal. Okay, then. Until tomorrow. <laughs> Well, it's time for me to leave. Hopefully everything will look okay here. Hmm, I wonder where did I put my dim demeritium medalli medallion. Demi demi I cannot say the words. I left the castle before first light. I had a long trip ahead and puppies barking in the background. I successfully crossed the border and eventually got to Odd Kariach. I tried, as planned. You've completed the intro. Well done. The game saves your progress between chapters. Once you beat a chapter, you can skip it any time without losing your progress. You can use normal saves, but those may fail to work over time due to changes in code. Worry not, though. A save between chapters will work no matter what. It's a nice programming. Upon starting a new game, the game will automatically check if there are any saves between chapters and ask you to pick one. Done! Your intro progress is saved! See? Is that simple? See ya! Four years later... I never pictured myself returning to this remote place. I've never meant to return to this abandoned place, but when Nifgod Empire wants your head, traveling to forsaken places like this is the only way to keep it on your neck. I'm almost there. I stopped before the gates. Unlike last time, the entrance was open. How come this deserted place always has people living in it? It's been a while since I copied that old witcher, but I still remember how to do it. Hello, is anybody home? Nothing but silence. Real Vismir should act like he is at home, so I confidently entered the castle. Room looks almost like I left it four years ago. Locked. But it's no silver, so I won't be so it won't be an issue. Now I can search it. A candle? I suppose it has its uses, even though I can see in the dark pretty well. Maybe there's something interesting here. Part of a letter? And traces of the portal led to Nifgod. I can only guess they would why would they want your ancient Muttergens, but I got a feeling their goals stretch beyond just creating their own school of witchers. War is coming. I'll be contra contacting you in case I find anything new. Stay safe, Vesmir. Nifgod, agents were here to crap. Oh, a brighter note. If they've already took everything they came for, I won't be coming back again. Or they won't be coming back again. I just arrived. Okay. Still locked. Fireplace? Okay. I don't usually mind taking a nap in the afternoon, but it's morning. So, Nil stole some kind of mut mutagens from here. I enjoy doing that. Castle map. It helped me out a few times in the past. Castle once used to be impressive. Barracks, prison cells, and a huge cellar. All of this is gone now. Yeah? Sounds like it. Oh, that's my doll made by that girl. I mean, Vesmir's doll. I wonder where she is now. Does Vesmir's doll look sad, or is it just me? Nice hourglass. I always like looking at the pouring sand inside. You can use the hourglass to skip time. Try it now. Calendar shows current day, period, and such season. Sound of steps climbing the stairs distract me from sand contemplation. Hello, who's there? Uncle, is it you? Door opened and a girl with ashen hair bursted into the room. What's all the commotion? 
Uncle, you're back. I was afraid I'll never I would never I'll never see you again. She rushed to hug me while I did my best to keep cool. I carefully hugged her back, accidentally putting my hand on her ass. Looks like she didn't notice. I missed you, Uncle. Finally, she let go of me. Are we alone, or is there someone else in the castle? There is no one. There was no one when I arrived a month ago. I live here by myself ever since. Anyway, I'm sorry for running away. I shouldn't have done it. Did she run away from Vesmir? Why did you do that? Training was hard and slow. I wanted to test what I was capable of and showing it to you. Well, I suppose I shouldn't turn out. I suppose it didn't turn out as you expected then. No, it didn't. After I ran away, I joined a gang and we did any sort of bad things. To the point, someone hired a bounty hunter to deal with us. I was trusting my skills before meeting him. Turned out I knew next to nothing. He captured us, but I managed to escape a few days later. That's when I realized I shouldn't. I should have returned home before it was too late. Uncle, please forgive me. I won't do that again. It's okay. As long as you understand what you did was wrong. Thanks. You're the best. And just a reminder, if you don't mind. Where are we with your train with your witcher training? Well, we started with magic training. You taught me how to use signs and charms, but only in theory. Not as if it helped anyway. Do you know where everyone is? Not really sure how many witchers lived in here, but more than one, I suppose. Thought everyone but Garrett followed you into Nilfgaard Empire. Oh right, I'm afraid we parted ways. <clears throat> and Geralt really, excuse me. We only we only write to each other from time to time. What about that bounty hunter? Is she really dangerous? Not to you, no. But I was powerless against him. After capturing us, he forced us to do some things. I'm safe here, right? You will protect me, Uncle? Anyway, I've just arrived, too. I need to get some rest. Sure, I'll go to my room, then. Alright, let's think about what to do next. Three of us, Mary, used it as a sort of diary, writing down contracts, details, and pressing matters. It's not a bad practice, not to mention it will... It'll make me more similar to him, keeping suspicion at bay. Okay. Looks like the witchers went to Niflgard territory and disappeared. Una unavailable fate. Un 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 uh. I've almost disappeared there myself half a year ago. Really tired, sleeping on a cold ground. Can't wait to try this out. I store my belongings right in that chest. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I've lost my Demetrium medallion here four years ago. Had a hard time without it. I should search the castle later. Maybe it's still around here somewhere? Okay. Yeah, think about all this. Okay. I'd love to put up a thick stone wall between me and my enemies. Well, he's not going to sleep. So I think this is what we're going to call it. This is a bit of a shorter video than what I've been doing lately. But I do need to get going. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. There will be a link in the description if you want to support the creator of this. And try it yourself. I might be coming back to this uh, when I finish some other projects. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. This is a no-go. I just can take cold. This is a danger zone. Back up and get me home. This is a no-go.